Today I'm going to be using my best golem decks, four of them for you guys, and they involve the evil wizard, the new void spell, and some of it is old, some of it is new, and we have bar putt, so, you know, something for everybody. If you want to try out bar putt, it actually does work in this meta against giant, that's why I started using it. I have been seeing a lot less giant, so it hasn't been as effective recently, but this is one of my best decks right now, and we currently have a... 61.2% win rate out of 49 games, and I'm currently ultimate champion. We're ranked 6,282. I was ranked number one locally um, when the first couple days of the season with this deck right here. Now, the Evo Bomber and the Evo Zap did get nerfed, so it's a little unfortunate, and I don't know if this deck is going to, you know, still be as consistent as it was for me earlier on, but since Evo Barbs did get buffed, and giant has been a problem for me i have been using this and we did replace evo zap with lightning we need something with shock and just the tornado with e dragon is just not working out for me so with my play style this is probably what i've been doing well with and i have a lot of friends that have been having a lot of success with this deck and so we're just going to hop right into some ultimate champion games with it i also have upgraded to an ipad i got the new ipad pro m4 just came out on the 15th i'm blessed that you guys were able to support me on tiktok you know giving gifts subscribing so i really appreciate everybody that was able to donate and help so get me an ipad i don't think an ipad is absolutely necessary to play this game but it does help with creating content it does help you know you know place your cards and not have any misplays it's just a little bit better now if you don't have that your phone works fine as well do not think that you need one i got number one locally on my phone now we have to see if i can do the same thing here so i would lightning that but there is really no value in doing that and he might play something else um he does so there we go more lightning value I also apologize if you guys hear my dog barking in the background. She is a loud reindeer herder puppy. Very annoying. Um, but she's getting training lessons soon. So hopefully <laughs> that helps. Um, so we got giant. Now I'm just going to go nine witch in the back. See if we can bait a spell. We don't. Um, so this is why we have barbarians for giant. Giant is so prevalent in the meta. I'm surprised it didn't receive a nerf. But I'm thinking because they buffed the barbs, that's why they didn't. We're going to void on this little prince, take it out. And actually our night witch and barbs are going to be on the tower. And uh, actually he, he goes the evil wizard, which I think is fine for us. Um, taking out his evil wizard early on. We have double elixir coming up. I'm going to place the evil bomber. Should get the wizard too. Now wizard is probably going to get a hit. Not two? Okay. That's good. We're going to go Night Witch again. I think our opponent has Fisherman. Um, so I'm going to go Golem Low. Gives us time to get Elixir. And we can use our Lightning on the Fisherman. That he's probably going to place in the middle here. So we're not going to do anything just yet. That is very tempting to Lightning. Um, I, I really want to, but I'm not going to. We're going to Lightning the Fisherman. And Golem's going to get to the tower. And I'm going to void the tower and the wizard and the little prince. Now, usually I would not want to do that, but um, I don't want him to build up a push. And so, take him all out together will help us. Barbarians shredding the giant, going to work. Now, I do want to lightning this wizard because it will be a problem if we don't take care of it earlier on. Okay, little prince does decent damage to it. Our tower troop should take it out. Now, he might go opposite lane here, so I'm going to go bomber. And I'm actually just going to go golem. And we're just going to use our barbarians to defend this giant push. He just goes fishman at the bridge. He's going all in here. Um, we're able to take out this giant. I'm going to have to void all of this. Our golem's on the tower. Let's go. That... I'm not sure why he did that. He really thought that he could do more damage than my Night Witch, Bats, and Golems, but he could not, so 
easy first dub with the first deck. Here it is again. Now we're going to move on to the second deck I want to show you guys. It's the Evo Wizard. Evo Zap is still in there because if we didn't have some sort of zap, we would have to put Lightning. And this deck works well with Poison. So we're going to use this and hopefully get another Giant deck. Maybe we won't. This deck does kind of have some problems, <laughs> I'd say. I mean, it's Barpa. It's not um the best card in the game but i think it is a little bit underrated and a little neglected in my opinion so um yeah it's it's good for baiting out spells like we baited out a fireball now we can safely go little prince and our night witch if needed to build up a push and our opponent is using the princess tower here so we'll see what they do here okay they go Firecracker, we're going to zap it, it should die. Ice Spirit, Firecracker, Knight. Could be a Drill deck here. It's probably going to be Drill. Um, but with Fireball is very interesting. Not like Because usually you see him with Poison, not Fireball. So I'm wondering why he's got that. Um, but we're, gonna, we're just going to go Golem at the bridge here. And we're going to get a arrow on the Firecracker and the Tesla. And our Golem should have a straight shot to the tower. And I don't believe he cycled back to another Tesla. So should be free range on the tower here. Let's go. All right, we're going to zap these goblins. Bats are going to... we got one bat helping out. Let's go, bat. And that's going to be tower. That's going to be tower. I mean, we can just cycle our poison and our Evo Zap and arrows, and that's going to do enough. Now, I'm not really sure what he's running here. He Like, he should have drill, and I'm not sure why he's not going drill at all. Um, I'm going to poison on that. Arrows does take out the Evo Firecracker now, so that's good to know. But, uh, yeah, our Barb Hut's still alive. It should spawn out four Barbarians. Actually, oh, Expo. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna go Golem here. Golem is a perfect counter to Expo. So let's get our arrows down here. Not too worried about another Firecracker. As long as we take out this Expo, and we will be able to spell cycle his tower. I think I want to just start doing that now. We'll put a poison on the tower. He's going to go expo. I'm going to go golem. And yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be tower. Let's get our LP right here. Activate our king tower probably. Yep, arrow. Six health left on the tower. We zap. And we just won with bar put. Now, we do kind of hard counter our opponent. He's he's saying wow because, you know, we're using par put, but it does work, and, you know, I think it's a little neglected. So give it a try and put it in your deck. Just find a card that you could replace it with, a building you're using. Try it out. Nothing, you know, it doesn't hurt to try it out. Now, the third deck here is what I'm going to be mainly pushing with, I think. I might be maining the barbs deck but this is what got me number one locally the other day i beat boss two times in 24 hours with this deck i actually beat him to get number one locally and number seven in the world with this deck so this one is really fun really cheap cycle really good against those drill decks and because drill got a nerf um you know it should be a little stronger same with the evo bomber but you know Two of the cards in this got, got nerfed, so it's a little unfortunate. And he goes Hog Rider. Arrow that quick, 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 go, go, go. No. Okay. We lose half of our health just because he goes Hog Rider. Um, Goblin Barrow. Firecracker first play. So that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um... All right, so I'm just going to cycle the bomber. Takes two cycles instead of one. I have always been preaching that it should have been that. Now, since he used 
both of his win conditions and he doesn't have them in cycle, I'm going to use my only win condition right now. And uh, let's void this. Let's zap it as well. Now, it doesn't get the hog, which is unfortunate, but, um, you know, we take the same amount of damage we did on the other side. Let's get this bomber. Oh, he has the Inferno Tower. This is going to be very tough. I was not expecting him to have Inferno. I mean, with log bait, I should always be expecting Inferno Tower. Not the best move to always go Golem down. Like how I just did, but since I am down so much, like I felt like I needed to do something. Um, but here we are again. I'm just gonna go golem in the back again. Now we have our Evo Zap and cycle. Now we know he has Inferno Tower. I will arrow this, but we need whatever he does next. We can't do anything about it. We have to save our Evo Zap. He's going to take that tower. He probably has rocket, maybe poison. Um, let's get the Evo Zap down. Let's get Void down on that Evo Firecracker. Let's get our Evo Bomber for these skeletons, and they die anyway, so probably bad. All right, let's activate LP ability. Bomber is going to activate the tower, unfortunate. All right, let's arrow that. LP's still on the tower. Let's go, LP. Let's go. Let's go. Or we're back in this game. We're back in this game, guys. We're not out. We're not out just yet. Just yet. Um, Let's go. Get that knight. Don't let him get more damage. He doesn't. All right, I'm going to go golem at the bridge here. We have a monstrous push. We just can go arrows, and we're fine. I'm just going to void this... And then we're going to get arrows down. It's going to take tower. And we got a huge push going up. Golem is actually going towards there. We got a LP. We got a zap. Hogs down. Golem's on the tower. Evil bomber for these skellies. We're just going to go Night Witch in the pocket here. Let's just arrow all this. Let's go Night Witch. We're going to void on this firecracker. Night Witch, get to the tower. One hit. Let's go. Okay. He's going to Hog Rider there. Interesting move. Can you throw? Okay. We're going to Void. We're going to need to Spell Cycle here. I've got to arrow this. He's going to pocket that. Let's bring it down with the Bomber. we got to get... Oh. I have to... No, we don't. I thought I was going to have to Evo Zap there, but we don't need to. We still have to play defense. I'm actually going to Evo Zap this Firecracker here. This is a really close, tough matchup. Um, I'm just going to pocket Golem. We got to do something. We got to do something here. I'm going to arrow this. Let's void. The Hog doesn't get a hit. Let's get Zap down on this Inferno. We just need our golem on the tower. Wait. Evil bomber on the tower? Let's go. Let's go. Well played from our opponent. Good game. What a comeback. We were down so much on both of our towers and we ended up coming back. This deck, very cheap, very menacing. Let's open up our lucky box. Of course, it's a common. I mean, I did get the book of books with my lucky drop a couple weeks ago, so we gotta be happy with that. So that's the third deck, the one I'll probably be maining, but this one, a four spell wizard deck. This deck is also really menacing. You're cycling so many spells. It's vulnerable against the um, drill decks, but wizard does counter drill and with the nerf, with you know evil bomber being nerfed too, it's a lot easier to counter and you can just cycle spells, build up a golem push, get your poison down, get your arrows down, evo zap, have the Evo Wizard defend the Drill Push, and also you have Little Prince as well. So uh, we pushed up a little bit. Now we're 3,719. I will be streaming the rest of my push tonight on TikTok. Make sure you guys go follow my TikTok. I stream there exclusively. I've been trying to figure out how to stream on YouTube and TikTok at the same time. I tried it out one night, but for some reason... It just doesn't work and like my 
source zooms in and it just doesn't work okay here's our challenge it is actually drill who would have would have known not me drill poison too um the hardest counter possible so this is going to be a challenge here i knew it <laughs> i knew we were going to face a deck that's what you do when you face well when you change decks you're going to face hard counters all the time it's just how the game's algorithm works it's what i've noticed it's what a lot of people have noticed that that's what's going to happen you, you switch decks um you're going to face a deck that's going to challenge you now doesn't mean you can't beat it but you know the odds of you winning are probably not going to be as high as what it would be if you kept using the same deck so we get the void down on the bomber not ideal but he places the drill low enough to the point where i can't arrow and um get oh wow wizard got a hit on the tower that's huge we need to take any any damage early on so we are going to be cycling our spells a lot later on i am going to poison this lp as much as i can all right he has Ice Golem in this deck, which is a little bit weird, but um, not the worst for him. Okay, Evo Bomber gets protected by the guards, but it's not in range. Is it going to get another hit here? It will not. Honestly, not that good of an Evo Bomber. And he says, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. I don't know what for, but... Um, Good luck. Good luck, opponent. I'm going to place the Night Witch up here, get this bomber. Wizard does an okay job against the drill. I'm going to void the LP. And we're going to poison all of this as well. Wizard's going to kind of clean up. We're going to zap this as well, get our arrows down. And Evo Wizard still has its shield, still alive. They pop ability. I think I'm going to pop my LP ability here. He has to waste his Evo Bomber defending. Our Guardian and Bats are going to get on this tower. And we're going to clutch this out. I'm actually going to go Golem at the bridge here. He just used his Tesla. He's got to use his Drill to defend. But he's probably not going to. We go wizard for this drill. We're going to evo zap on this little prince. And that is game. Good game. Uh, we'll cry on you. Because he did kind of, you know, BM us earlier on. So, uh, let's go, guys. Those are the four golem decks. Luckily, we got wins with all of them. And, you know, I'm going to be cycling through them, testing them out. Come. Come join me on my TikTok live stream tonight. Um, appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. I love you guys. Peace out.